So I will uh, now partition my hard drive. I have 8 gigabyte of uh, total space. I'm going to uh, divide the 8 gigabyte into two identical uh, partitions. Okay. The reason why I want to put up a partition is that because in case of virus attacks or whatever happens, okay, I'm going to call a, a drive called C and D. I will get it. I can label them both the way I want it. Uh, for drive C, I will call it a the system drive, okay, which will contain the operating system and all the installed applications. And whatever the data that you want to install will be installed on or, or the, they will be stored on the D drive, which I will call it a data drive. Okay, so I will have a C partition which will be 4 gigabyte, and D partition which will store all your data will be 4 gigabyte. So total of 8 gigabyte. Um, in case you have a, uh, your computer got virus or whatever, you can reformat it, you can reformat the whole system. The C will be cleaned, but your D drive still remains. Okay, in that way you can save your data. Now this is uh, the software failure, in, like a virus attack is a software failure, right? Okay, what happened if your hard disk crash? In that case, you are unable to save your D partition as well because the whole hard drive is crashed. Okay, so in that case, you might want to have an external hard drive or you might want to install another hard disk, uh, which can be of a different uh, physical hard drive. Okay, that is also possible. Okay, you can install up to four IDE drives um, or IDE devices, which could be two hard disks and two CD ROM or three hard disks and one CD ROM, whatever the configuration you choose to have. Okay, now we are going to uh, do a F disk. F disk stands for fixed disks on your computer. Now it will uh, tell you in the DOS. Normally, uh, a hard disk larger than 500 megabyte is considered to be a large disk support. So I will just say yes. Okay. Before you do anything, you want to see what is the current partition information. In that case, you can read the the, the fourth option. You press four. And press enter. Right now I have a primary DOS partition which is used up all the 8056 or 8 gigabyte of data. You will see that in the system it will be a FAT32. Okay, usage is 100 percent and partition status. I have no volume label. Okay, what I will what I will do now is I will delete it. I'll delete this partition, okay, which is a primary DOS partition. Right, so you will press one and enter. Now, which primary partition you want to delete, which is number one, which is, so you just press enter. Enter volume label, look at the column here, volume label, you have nothing, so you will just press enter. Okay, are you sure? You have to press yes and enter. In that case, your primary DOS partition is gone. You have no more partitions left. Okay, now I will want to create a new partition, in this case, a primary DOS partition. Okay, so press one again, enter. Now it will verify whether my hard disk is uh, uh, free of the defects or any other hardware failure. If you have any partition or uh, any uh, sectors that is uh, faulty, it will report to you and say that it's unable to create a partition. Okay, in this case, it's verifying the drive integrity. Make sure that none of the sectors are corrupted or unusable. Okay. Now, um, do you wish to use the maximum available size for a primary DOS partition? Uh, we do not want that. We want to use only a certain portion. So we will need to verify the drive integrity again. Okay, out of A056, I only want to use uh, 4096, which is approximately 4 gigabyte of uh, the 8 available 8 gigabyte. Okay, so that I can create a C drive and D drive. C drive will be uh, designated for the system files, and D drive will be designated for the data, your personal data. In this case, I'll just say, I'll just enter, clear, 4096. If you do your math right, that should be approximately 4 gigabyte. Okay, I have created a, a partition. Notice that the system is currently unknown. Okay, right now, if you want to install something on this partition, uh, or if you want to store some data, it is impossible. Okay, because the system is unknown. They don't know how to create files, they don't know how to store the files. Next, I will create a partition which is an extended DOS partition okay it will uh, verify the drive integrity as well it will take a while uh, so you need to create the primary DOS partition first then extend it and then it will assign a logical drive to it okay which is using up the remaining 
49% of the drive, which is about 4 gig as well. Okay. Now it will assign a drive letter, so it will try to uh, assign a C, uh, D drive, letter D to the, the uh, logical drive or the extended drive. Okay. When you delete a particular drive, make sure you delete from the logical, then you delete extended and primary DOS partition. You do not delete the primary DOS partition first, or otherwise it will be uh, it will be an orphan child. Okay. So now it has a volume label of it has no volume label D. System is also unknown. You will press escape. Now if you go and see the partition, you have four. Uh, you have a four gigabyte four C and four gigabyte four D drive. Okay. Next time you reboot, okay, it, it will ask you for rebooting. If that you, next time you reboot, your optical drive should be letter E because C and D is already used up for your hard drives.